Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today we're gonna take a look at the Razer Kishi controller that does support xCloud on Android devices. Now, today, Aaron Greenberg actually commented on it, saying that the device rules and that Razer Kishi is proof that the console wars are over. Now, I'm not quite sure on that statement. Clearly, he doesn't go on Twitter or reads the YouTube comments. Nonetheless, he says that thanks to Game Pass and xCloud, Microsoft is standing on the precipice of what could be decades of critical and financial success. Now, I have to say, overall, I have to agree with him. Now, ever since they announced this, I wanted to get my hands on this controller. Unfortunately, I missed out on the first wave. Now, I kept checking the site, and three days later, some more orders were available, and of course, I jumped at the opportunity. Now, I've had this device for a couple of weeks now, and I have to say, overall, I am extremely impressed with this device. Now, first of all, it has a very small footprint, and it does work good with an Android tablet. Now, you're able to play xCloud on it, as well as other cloud services such as Stadia. Now, I use this mostly for xCloud. Now, I played a little bit of Stadia on it and it played well, but for this look, we're really going to concentrate on the xCloud features. Now, it does fit a host of devices anywhere from a Galaxy S7 all the way up to a Note 20, the non-ultra version. Now, I have a Galaxy S10 Plus and it fit nice and snug. Now, the buttons feel very responsive. The analog sticks are very clicky and they feel very natural. Now, the only gripe that I have with it is the D-pad. The D-pad isn't really the best quality quality one. Now, it's not horrible. It's just not great. Overall, that's the biggest shortcoming. That and I would say maybe the triggers. The triggers don't have as much spring in them as I would like. Now, the L1 and R1, those ones are fantastic. Now, overall, I think the controller is definitely a game changer because it allowed me to play my xCloud games on my device. Now, I really don't get to play a lot of mobile games for the simple fact I just don't like the graphics and I just don't usually play mobile games. However, playing my Game Pass games on this device really Really feels like I'm playing a console at home except I'm on the go now this is really handy when I'm at the doctor's office or perhaps I'm just out and have some time to kill now this is definitely a great value now it is extremely responsive now this was one of the reasons why I got this device because it actually has a direct connection to your Android device now some other controllers they use a Bluetooth connection and the Bluetooth connection there's nothing wrong with it it works well but we're already fighting against latency because this is cloud gaming so any advantage I can get is definitely going to give me a better experience and of course having a direct connection to the phone reduces latency which makes the game a lot more responsive now this doesn't require any type of batteries it runs directly off of your phone now if your phone is running low it does have some pass-through charging now I do think it is a little bit pricey at 99 US dollars however the value that you get out of it I think is kind of worth it now if you're into playing X Cloud games this is definitely a must-have device if you play Google Stadium on your phone this is also a great device however I would recommend the Android version now the Android version differs a little bit from the Xbox version the colors of the buttons are a little bit different and of course there isn't a dedicated Xbox button however apart from that both devices work exactly the same and if you're using this device solely for Google Stadia there's really no need to pay the $20 premium now a few takeaways here is that if you're used to a switch this does feel really familiar now if you don't like the switch the way it feels in your hands I just don't think you're gonna like this controller. Overall, I think it's very light. It's extremely portable. It's more portable than using a controller with a phone clip. This just leaves a much smaller footprint. You don't have to worry about the batteries in your controller as this just runs directly off of your phone. Now, I think this is a must have for anyone that's playing cloud gaming on their mobile devices, as well as people that play mobile games on their devices, period. I've never been a fan of it, like I said, for the graphical fidelity and as well as the controls. Touchscreen controls, I'm not a big fan of it and this just gives you a real gaming feel. So when Aaron Greenberg says this is a game changer, I have to agree with him. I would rather play this than my Switch as I have access to AAA games, I have access to the first party games from Microsoft, I have access to all the games that are available in Game Pass on my mobile device and they look great. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about all of this. Do you think that this is a game changer for xCloud or cloud streaming in general? Do you also plan on getting a version? And if so, what version are you planning to get? Let me know in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.